Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we're going to review or better said we're going to have our first impressions on Wayne Goss lipstick collection. If you don't know by now who Wayne Goss is, you can literally go on YouTube and type his name and you're going to see loads and loads of uh, YouTube videos that he created. For me, he was the first guy that I've seen in makeup on YouTube and he was the first one that I actually followed because he is amazing. He has a lot of great, uh, great techniques and he has a really unique way to teach you how to apply makeup and I really, really love him and also I love his accent. Um, but he just recently um, came out and said he's gonna release uh, his uh, makeup collection which I'm so excited for and the first items he released um, there are lipsticks, also lip liners and also lip gloss. So I uh, went on Beautylish because that's um, where he sells it and I grabbed a few products for you to review. I haven't bought the whole collection because I was not interested in the entire collection. There's just some lipsticks in there that I'm pretty sure they're not working for my complexion. But I picked the ones that I thought are gonna work the best. And I have here the box that it came in. It came with a, in a normal box and then this was inside of it. So we're gonna go look through it together and see how everything looks like on tan skin. All right, so let's open this thing up. So the lipsticks he released, there are some cream lipstick with a satin finish um, in a range of effortlessly elegant shades. So this, they, he had 10 shades that you could choose from and also for lip, uh, lip pencils or lip liner, he has 5 shades and they're, they're supposed to be matte and also he has... And then for lip gloss, he created seven shades. And let's open up to see what I got. I hope I'm in focus. I don't know, I'm a little bit far from this. Uh, I'm a little further out, but I hope I am in focus. This camera is a little weird. I'm trying to figure out how to work with it. Okay, I think I am. Let's see. Okay, so I have two lipsticks, one lip gloss, and also, okay, Beautylish always gives you something, so let's see what they gave me first. So they gave me R Plus Code Death Valley Dry Shampoo. Nice. Like that, and also gives you a pamphlet about what is going on. It says add sky high volume and untamed texture to your hair with the invisible dry shampoo that instantly absorb oils and sweat. Oh, that's great. Maybe I'll try that. And then I did order another thing from them. I ordered a Natasha Denona uh, bronzing glow, which is right here. This is a mini, and I I think it was under $20. I think it was on sale. And then here are the, the items from Wayne Goss. After all his packaging, it's silver, really classy, really sleek. I really like it. Um, What should we start with? Uh, let's start, why don't we start with his lip pencil. Also, I know that um, I've seen a lot of people reviewing these. But they haven't said something that was a little bit <laughs> shocked that nobody looked at this and were like, oh, really? Um, this lip pencil was made in Czech Republic. So that for me is like, wow, well, that is really interesting because I know his lipsticks are made in Canada. So this was in Czech Republic. So that's an interesting thing, right? Um, what I wanted to say, this is sepia, this is the shade sepia, also have the color, it's a lip pencil, wood pencil, it has the color right here, you can see it, it's easier to see, also has a silver cap. Uh, 
I like the shade and I love it's really really creamy yeah I do like it I do like it a lot actually let me fill in oh yeah this with the lip gloss let's try the lip gloss on top of it i have mine in hibiscus this was the one that i really really liked when he showed it i'm not a big fan of lip glosses but every so often i do like to apply some a little bit you know but this one this is the packaging it's a minty scent to it so this is how it looks like. Um, I do enjoy it. I do like it. Um, um, it is a little bit sticky. Not too bad though. Um, the shine, it's a little much for my taste. But it's not too bad. It doesn't feel graininess or anything like that. But it looks really nice. I mean together, this is sepia with hibiscus. So look at really interesting I might go for this for sure this is gonna be something nice to add I think he, this is more like a for me the way this looks is more like a natural look to it you know and I would go for it maybe with a just a black eyeliner on the eyes a little bit of mascara and this and you're gonna go for the day especially in the summer so yeah i do like and i do enjoy this i like the mintiness of it because it also gives you a refreshing feeling on the lips and it gives you a little bit of hydration as well my lips are always a little bit on the crustier side a little bit on the dry side but um yeah it definitely looks really good and i do really enjoy the lip pencil it's really creamy really nice i think in my um I don't know if it's staying all day from what I can see right now it still keeps its color although I put all that gloss on top of it so uh, we'll see about that but for now for the first impressions I really like it and I really do enjoy it all right so now let's see how we're gonna do which one should we do first let me see I don't even remember how the colors look like I was like oh yeah let me get this one and let me get this one and I was like no rush I was hoping it's not gonna sell out which it didn't sell out really fast which is good um but this one I mean it was good for me because I could purchase purchase them at more of a pace nice pace than you know like crazy so I got one that is in Xenia and then another one. The another one that is in Orchid. This is how the lipstick look like. Uh, it has Wayne Goss at the bottom. It's nice, it's black. It's not nothing really special, but it's something classic, it's something sleek, something um, you know, just the kind of like a normal but still with a little bit of class and as to it and let's see this is orchid i really wanted to get carnation but by the time i uh, was on the website it sold out okay these are so creamy mm. and hydrating they don't have any scent to them And very nice they go on the lips really nice mm. oh yeah that looks really good with my skin tone Ooh, I like it mm -hmm. I like it a lot so this is orchid now let's see how Xenia looks like this is more like a red more like a berry Oh, yes.
And that's how that one looks like. I really do like it. I like it a lot. I love this color on me, and especially with this look, I feel like it looks really nice and pretty. And I do like the way they go on this on the lips. They're very hydrating. Has a satin finish, as it said. It's really pretty. I don't know how long it's gonna wear. Let me zoom you out. So yeah, this is how it looks like. I am really glad I bought them. I was a little bit on the fence. I was not sure how these shades are gonna work for me, but they work really nice. And the colors, I mean, the way it looks on the lips is so nice and so moisturized, although my lips are a little bit, you know, <laughs> dry and a drier side. But they are really pretty. I'm glad I got this. I'm definitely gonna buy, I'm definitely gonna wear this a lot. And also the lip gloss. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna combine the lip gloss with this lip liner. For the lipstick, I really feel like I don't need a lip liner. I feel like I can wear them by itself. But yeah, this is all I got for you today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you with another video. Bye! Don't stop.